Yeah, this is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sergeant, get on with it. Okay, this is it. Come, Come on. With me. Dig. Prisoner Ikiuchi. Dig. Dig. Oh, the rest of you fellas, get up here. Come on. Get up, up here, moving. Move! Of digging. Come on, dig, dig you lot! Into it. Come on, speedo, speedo! Come on, dig! Put your backs into it. Dig! Dig, you mongrel. That's it. I want photographs of everything. See? I mean everything. Stop digging! Stop digging! Thanks. Sarge? Hey, show me that. Give me a hand with this, Max. Get out of it!
any matter. Get the body out. Take it easy with it. and down your bloody fool. Put that thing away. War's over, Sergeant. football with this bloke. Quick of a man off the field. But Jesus, did he have a boot on him? Your bastard. Mitchell, still in the hospital. Private Gerlach, repatriated. Private Tilson, repatriated. Private Simmons. Simpson, according to this, he's still posted as missing. Simmons, S-I-N-N-O-N-S. Repatriated, flew out two days ago. God, what are they trying to do to me? We've still got sworn statements from all of them. Yeah, but I can't put a statement in the witness box and say to it, hey, is this the bloke who beat the shit out of you? Frank, it's going to be a bit difficult running these trials without witnesses. We're not here for vengeance. We're here to give these people a fair trial. Captain, meet Mr. Sheedy, Sydney Herald. Well, you're Paul Captain Morris, Cooper, our chief prosecutor. Thank you, Gerald. Well, good day. I heard a press party was due in. Yeah, hey, you're looking at it, old son. Excuse me, Major, this can wait. I'll come back. George. See you later, Captain. Thank you, Mr. Sheedy. It's Private Mitchell who got in the hospital. I need him on the stand. He's my only witness against Takahashi. Chief Medical Officer has cleared Mitchell for repatriation. There is nothing I can do about it. Leave him alone. It delays repatriation. I won't need him for long. Can't do it. For the British section in Tokyo. Anyway, we haven't got Takahashi yet, so the point is academic. Well, I'd have him if it wasn't for this constant paper war with the Yanks. We have complete cooperation from the Americans. Look, they promised Takahashi you'll get Takahashi. In the meantime, tighten the screws on Ikiuchi. Break the number two man. You give me witnesses on the stand, I'll break them. I'll break them into little bloody pieces. Bob. The war's over. We're lawyers, not soldiers. Yeah. Captain, four more flyers missing in the area. Fenton, Smith, O'Donnell and Rogers. Were they captured? Don't know. Why haven't we got any flyers in the prison camp? It's a good question. I'm going to talk to Mitchell. Captain. Mr. Matsugai is waiting to see you. Who's Matsugai? Japanese Defence Council. Captain. Mr. Matsugai, can this wait? I do have a programme, Captain. I see. I have no witnesses to cross-examine in defense of my clients. These statements, I cannot cross-examine a statement. Yeah, well, I'm trying to get witnesses, Mr. Matsugai. Now, look, can you take this up with Major Roberts? He's the judge advocate for these trials. I spoke to Major Roberts, but he wasn't much help, I'm afraid. 
I was hoping you could talk to him for me. Yeah, well, I'll see what I can do. Is that all? Also, the defendants did not understand the presumption of innocence. Well, I know it's different in Japan, but you'll have to explain to them that here they are presumed innocent until such time as they are proven guilty. Yes, they do not understand this. Also in Japan, they do not have contact with the defense counsel before a trial. They are very suspicious of me. I see your problem, but they'll just have to adapt, Mr. Matsugo. Unless, of course, they want to go in there and plead guilty, in which case we can all pack up and go home. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. I cannot run the defense and the prosecution. Still. Now, Takashi staff, we checked Naval Command in Tokyo. I've done that, sir. They're working on it. The camp had a legal officer. Where's he? It's a martyr. The Americans won't release him yet. Well, the adjutants, the signals officers, supplies, where are they? Gone to ground. Find them. All over Japan, sir. I don't care if they're shacked up in Mount Bloody Fuji. Find them, Jack. I hear you got a hundred defendants all in the dock at the same time. Should be quite a spectacle, Captain. We live in hope. Jack Corbett, Sheedy from the Herald. All right. G'day. Everyone at home's right behind you, of course. Screaming for blood. If you're going to do this story properly, Sheedy, why don't you talk to Mr. Matsuga? Presumption of innocence? Can't see that selling a lot of newspapers. There you go. No. Captain Cooper, I need your help. You say you overheard Takahashi discussing executions with Igyuchi. Was it a direct order? Was Takahashi actually ordering executions? When was it? Was it 1943? 1944? Try and remember the month. For God's sake, Bill. Trials. Bloody trials. You don't want to try those bastards in a court. You want to try them against the wall. What are you doing? Excuse us, sister. We just have to question. I'm just doing my job. You're not allowed in here. I'll only be a minute. These patients are my responsibility. I'm asking you to leave, Captain. And what am I supposed to do? I've got to prosecute the bastards that did this. And I've got to make certain that this boy's on that plane tomorrow. You know how many witnesses I've got? Let him sleep and let him go home. Pariska dafta obitido fenton. Fenton. Chipart. These boys have been through enough. Out. Both of you. Good trip home, mate. It's all right, Jimmy. I'm right here. I'm right here. Right here. Fenton, didn't you say Fenton was one of the fives? That's Jimmy Fenton, sir. He wasn't a pilot. He was captured here in 42. Sir? From Major Roberts, sir. Takahashi. About bloody time. I hear you were in the hospital yesterday, Bob. Look, it's not on. I've just had the chief medical officer doing his block. You stay out of the hospital, huh?
Morning. Major Roberts. Hey, Drake. Baron Takahashi. Who's the Yank? I don't know. How was it fun? Damn long. Captain Cooper, meet Major Beckett, Chief Liaison Officer, Supreme Command, War Crimes Trials. Captain Cooper is our Chief Prosecuting Officer. Oh. Major? You guys have taken on a big job down here. Major Beckett is here as an observer. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Every little bit helps the big show back in Tokyo. Major. See you boys later. Well, he looks pretty guilty to me. In here, Major. You too, Bob. Some tea and coffee organized, George. My God, that was a hell of a trip. Fifteen hours. Well, it was a long way from Tokyo, even in a C-47, Major. Uh, well, we fought a war together. We might as well clean up the peace together. Well, Takahashi's conviction will bring us one step closer to the Emperor. What, you mean you guys don't know? Hirohito's been granted immunity from prosecution. What are you talking about? What genius dreamt that up? Well, it's very simple, Captain. You use the conquered leaders effectively and everything will fall into place. We're not going to sacrifice the Japanese leaders. We're going to use them. I mean, look at Europe after the first war. Germany was humiliated. That was a mistake, a bad mistake. I seem to recall you blokes were in charge of that one, too. I'd hate to think we couldn't learn from our errors. You're thinking more along the lines of what the British did in India. That's right, a handful of British puppets ran the Hindus for hundreds of years. The British Raj. In Japan? The American Raj? You're not dealing with a Western culture, Major. Japanese history's barbaric. Look at what they did. If you don't humiliate the blokes at the top, nothing's gonna change. Well, you got to understand the politics. I'll bear that in mind, Major, when I'm prosecuting some fanatic who swore an oath to the Emperor to wipe us all off the face of the earth. キャプテン。私は根次大学で法律を教えている松貝信之です。この度皆さんを弁護するために派遣されてまいりました。この安本島において終戦直後という大変困難な状況の中で 公正な裁判が行われるよう最善を尽くすつもりです皆さんは決して真実を隠すことなくこの裁判に協力するようにしてください天皇陛下も全ての帝国海軍軍人がこの裁判に協力することを望まれています皆さんは階級の上下を問わず本当のことを言うようにしてください天皇陛下万歳万歳万歳解散明治大学で教えてるんですかねはいかれこれ八年目ですうん閣下 Oh, my God. 
right back for you. When you get a chance, duck out and contact Tokyo. They might have something for us. Don't bet on us, sir. We don't get hold of some of Takashi's staff. We're not going to have much fun in here. I convene the Australian War Crimes Tribunal Ambon in accordance with the Australian War Crimes Act 1945. The accused are charged under Section 3 of the Australian War Crimes Act with deliberate and concerted ill treatment and murder of prisoners of war. How do you plead? Muzai, not guilty. Muzai, not guilty. Muzai. 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 Put up all the shutters and shut the doors. Do you swear the evidence you're about to give this court will be the whole truth and nothing but the truth? I solemnly swear. Vice Admiral Takahashi. You were responsible for the Imperial Japanese Navy's fleet headquarters on the island of Ambon? Yes, but the 20th garrison unit responsible for the prison camp was entirely in the hands of Captain Ikeuchi. <clears throat> Vice Admiral, how do you explain the mass grave located at Laha? I know nothing about these soldiers. But you have seen the grave. Yes. 300 Australians, some beheaded, the rest bayoneted to death. You were in command in February 1942. Captain Ikeuchi was your subordinate. So who ordered these men to be killed? I know nothing about these men. Vice Admiral, these men were on the island, but they were never in the prison camp. Now, in all these sworn statements, there's not one single mention of what happened to these men. Now, the choice is very simple. Either you ordered your men to execute these 300 prisoners of war, or you failed to order them not to. You were the responsible officer. You were in command. I know nothing about these men. I have a statement here from a private W. Mitchell. I'm sure you'll remember Private Mitchell. He was assigned as a gardener at your house. Private Mitchell spoke Japanese. He states that he heard you discussing executions with Captain Ikeuchi. He is lying! Objection, Your Honor. Private Mitchell is not in court. Private Mitchell cannot be cross-examined if he is not here. How well did he speak Japanese? Captain Cooper. I don't know. Sustain. Vice Admiral, what did you do with captured Australian airmen? If airmen were shot down and captured, they would have been placed in the prison camps. Was it not Japanese policy to execute captured airmen? I am not aware of such a policy. Unless, of course, they had violated international law, in which case 
they would have been court martialed. What happened to the records of your command, Vice Admiral? They were destroyed during many bombing raids. Bombing raids of astonishing accuracy. What did you do? Put a sign on the roof saying, please bomb here? Objection! Captain Cooper, is this relevant? Yes, it is, sir. These courts martial of Australian airmen, for which we have no records, Exactly how many airmen were court-martialed, Vice Admiral? I am not aware that any Australian airmen were captured on Ambu. Excuse me, sister. You've got a patient called Fenton? Yeah, Jimmy Fenton, yeah. Can I talk to him? I'm afraid he's not really with us at the moment, Captain. When could I talk to him? Jimmy Fenton's hardly spoken in four months. What's the problem? Four Australian airmen went down there here. I know it sounds silly, but one of them was called Fenton, Eddie Fenton. Hey, sir. What have we got here? Four more from Tokyo, sir. Right, turn to the side. OK, mate. Next. Right, turn to the side. More guards. What we need is Takahashi's staff. He's legal officer. Shimada. That's the bloke. He can verify Takahashi's orders. If we could find the signals officer, that might solve the puzzle of the missing records. I don't think it's much of a puzzle, Jack. Captain. Got a minute? Sure. Take a look at this. Bastards. Leave Eddie alone. Where's Eddie? Who said this? Jimmy Fenton. I asked around, he did have a brother, Edward, Air Force. Eddie Fenton. Get the file on the flyers. Yeah. That's great. Thanks. You're out of bounds, Sheedy. What was their last radio position? Just trying to make contact with the civilised world. He's got better things to do. Well, Major Roberts said to be OK. That's very decent of him. North of Cape Villa. Three degrees 32 south, 128 degrees five minutes east. Radio, they were hit, then silence. And that was it. Close to the island. What date? July 44. Jimmy would have been here then. Eddie must have been on the island. Wake him up. Right. Photos, Jack. Got him? Thanks. Move it! Move it! Get it, Get it, Get it, Get it, Get it, You recognize these men? Don't play silly buggers, Tojo. Answer the question. No. Come on, you and then go Captain, I must protest. Captain, what are you doing? Mass trial, mass interrogation, Frank. The defendants have a legal right to counsel. Do you are in questioning, Captain? You wanted to see me. Do you recognize these men? You do not have to answer. Vice Admiral. I cannot be of assistance. That's it. You close down, Captain. My office now, you too, Mr. Mitsugai. 
They were on the island. I'm going to find them. Leave them to me. There won't be a mark on them. Put them to bed. Okay, it's over. Get to bed. Move it! Come on, you heard the man, fellas. Run! Right, if you've got the evidence, where is it? If you hadn't stopped making a bloody fool of yourself. I'm not here. Where are the bodies? I don't know. But if they were captured on Ambon, they were killed here, weren't they? How do you know that? Because they're not alive. We didn't send them home, and they're not listed as having died in the camp. Oh, for God's sake, why are you chasing four phantoms when you have the hard evidence of the mass graves? Over 300 bodies. There are no witnesses and no records. But four flies went down in July 1944, and one of them's got a brother in that hospital. You're making a mistake a lawyer can't afford to make. You're losing your objectivity. Don't patronise me, Major, for Christ's sake. Takahashi and Ikiuchi are the only senior officers that were here in 1942. And Takahashi will say he was somewhere else when the 315 men were butchered and he'll get off. You can't waltz into court with perhapses and maybes. Do I make myself clear, Captain? Crystal clear, sir. An apology to Mr. Matsugai is in order. I apologize, Mr. Matsugai. Thank you, Captain. That's all, Captain. Maybe those flyers weren't captured at all. Maybe they died when their plane was shot down. Have you considered that, Captain? No, I haven't, Major. I thought you weren't here. Admiral, what was your first action when you took over the command of Ambo? I called a meeting of all my officers. I told them that Japan is not a signatory to the Geneva Convention for the Treatment of Prisoners. But I insist you behave as if we are. So your orders were... Your men were to adhere to international law? Yes. Objection. This island was governed by Imperial Japanese Navy regulations. I withdraw the question. Vice Admiral, you spent some time in England. Four years. I obtained my degree in law at Oxford University. And you joined the service upon returning to Japan? Yes, the Navy. You were the only Japanese member of the European Golf Club. Objection, this is irrelevant. Vice Admiral Takahashi wasn't here to improve his golf handicap. <laughs> Silence! This evidence is essential to gain an understanding of Vice Admiral Takahashi's attitude towards Australian prisoners. Objection overruled. Continue, please. Vice Admiral, I want you to consider this very carefully. How do you explain the bodies of the prisoners in the mass graves? <clears throat> I was not present when the Australians surrendered on Ambu. I was away attending a meeting in Manila. It is in the records. Captain Kiuchi was here, but he never told me that such mass graves existed. You would have to ask him the details of what happened to those men. I do know that during my command, we buried prisoners who had died of tropical diseases or who had been killed during Allied bombing raids, along with my own men. I'm very distressed by what I now know. It appears to bring no credit to my command. But I cannot be held responsible for action which took place during my absence. Can't you see what Takahashi's up to? It wasn't me. 
Captain Ikeuchi ran the camp. If there were beatings and executions, Ikeuchi was responsible. I saw nothing, I heard nothing. No executions. No executions. Look, mate, when I find more evidence of executions, and let me tell you, I intend to, then you're going to cop the lot. Takahashi's going to bury you, and your only defense is that there weren't any. We found 315 bodies. No execution. What's the matter with you? Look, it isn't going to work. They were executed. And he wasn't here. He was here when those airmen were here, though, wasn't he? You do not understand the Japanese ways. Your trouble is you don't understand anything else. Japanese officer, very strong. Japanese vice admiral, very powerful. Blame Japanese officer for executions. No executions. I met some dumb pricks in my time, but he takes the cake. He's a bit futile for you, I think. Why would an American who's in charge of the Allied war trials bring Takahashi down here so we can prosecute him? Make sure he wasn't convicted. Captain, were you present at the execution of the 300 prisoners at Laha Airstrip? I know nothing of any executions. I submit details of autopsies carried out on the remains of the men dug from the mass graves. The report shows that these men were beheaded or bayoneted to death. Now, Captain, did you or Vice Admiral Takahashi order the execution of these prisoners? I know nothing of any executions. So how do you account for the 300 bodies? Mass suicide, was it? Captain Cooper. Do you recognize these men? Captain Cooper, is there any evidence to suggest that these men might... Yes. You're saying you do recognize these men? I was taken out last night. That's uh, not what I meant. These men were here. Objection. There's no, there's objection. Objection. Cooper, objection. No what did you do with them? Captain Cooper. How is it that not a single Australian airman survived on Ambon? We know planes came down near here. Objection! Not just these four, any airman. Captain Cooper! Have you any further questions, Captain? No, sir. Mr. Matsugai. No questions, sir. I request an adjournment while a search is made through Tokyo records. Search for what? Records of courts martial held in this region between 1942 and the surrender. Courts martials of whom, Captain? Captured pilots, sir. Objection. Overruled. I also have warrants for key members of Vice Admiral Takahashi's staff. I need time for their delivery into custody. This tribunal is adjourned for 24 hours while the prosecution's requests are considered. <coughs> Today, Mum and I went down to Palm Beach for the trip. <coughs> we got on the top of a double-decker bus through from Wynyard 
And as it was a clear, bright day, got a lovely view, especially of the harbour as we crossed the bridge. <laughs> they say Sydney people rave about the bridge and the harbour, but you can't help it, and truly, Jimmy, it's as wonderful as ever. <laughs> Don't stop thinking of the fun we used to have. Remember to Jean and I ride the bush bike. Cooper, Supreme Allied Command Headquarters in Tokyo is unable to guarantee production of the records you require within a reasonable time. It also appears that the prosecution has not located any of Vice Admiral Takahashi's staff at this time. On both these grounds, we're unable to grant your request for an adjournment. Does the prosecution wish to call any further witnesses in the case against Vice Admiral Takahashi? What witnesses, Major Roberts? Mr. Matsugai. The defense also rests. Counsel, proceed with summing up. Vice Admiral Takahashi is a man of special qualities. Educated in one of the finest universities in England. Next. Pockets. Take it. Just up against the wall. Monte. Just hold it still. Ah, right, to the side. The evidence of brutality submitted in the sworn statements of the Australian prisoners is now given added weight by the discovery of the mass graves at Laha Airstrip. And the fact that not a single Australian airman listed as missing in this region survived. The question is one of responsibility. The defence that these acts were committed by Captain Ikeuchi fails to address Vice Admiral Takahashi's responsibility for the actions of his subordinates. It is not necessary to establish that he personally ordered the deaths of these prisoners, because it is plainly clear that he and only he had the power to prevent them. This man who had every advantage, was highly educated from the top echelon of Japanese society. This man of honor commanded the prisoner of war camp with the highest death rate in the entire war. The prosecution submits that Vice Admiral Takahashi received the harshest possible penalty. This afternoon, Vice Admiral Baron Takahashi, same spelling, comma, who was accused of mass murder and mistreatment of Australian prisoners of war under his command on the island of Ambon, um, 700 miles 
north of Australia, comma, was acquitted of all charges, full stop. He is bloody guilty. Well, I think it was the right decision. Obviously you do. Yeah. Sir? Why didn't we get any records out of Tokyo? Was that the deal, was it? We could have Takahashi, but no records. I realise you're disappointed, but the Takahashi case is closed. No, it bloody isn't. Well, you've still got the real bastard, Ikiuchi, to prosecute. The same thing will happen. We've got 300 bodies and no witnesses. Why couldn't you have waited until we located the four flyers? Because you haven't got them. Because they're phantoms. Look, you're concerned about justice. This is justice. Prosecute Ikiuchi. He's mentioned on every sworn statement. Now, he really is a monster. The people at home will be happy. The army will be happy. Everybody will be happy. And you'll be doing the job you came here to do. That's not justice. That's politics. Very few men have the opportunity to contribute to something like this. Sir. The world is watching, Bob. Don't throw it all away by bending a few rules. They're all we have. You buy that, don't you? You really buy that. Captain, we've got him. The signals officer. He's waiting for us now in interrogation. Maybe he knows something about the flyers. Lieutenant Tanaka, you were the signals officer under Baron Takahashi. Answer the question, Lieutenant. Yes, I was 103. Did you ever send or receive any signals relating to the court martial of prisoners of war on the island? I must have. Yes, I think so. Was it Japanese policy to send signals of every court martial? I don't know. I sent those signals I was ordered to send. Did you ever intercept transmissions from Allied planes? Yes, we were under continuous attack. Do you recall one particular flight? July 24, 1944. We think the plane may have gone down near here. No. Think back. July 1944, the island was not under heavy air attack. One particular flight. Reconnaissance. It would surely be difficult to recall one particular flight, Captain. Answer the question, Lieutenant. Much has happened since I left here. I was on leave in Nagasaki when the war ended. The Lieutenant lost his parents and three sisters in the atomic bomb blast. I see. This is a waste of time. Do you intend laying charges against Lieutenant Tanaka, Captain? Not at this time. In view of the fact that Lieutenant Tanaka surrendered by his own free will, unlike the other defendants, I formally request he be allowed to return home. Yeah, that's fine. Now wait. Keep him. Lieutenant Tanaka may be used in the case against Captain Ikiuchi. That'll be all, Mr. Matsuda. Jimmy, what is it? Is it Eddie? It's Eddie, isn't it? Cooper, my name is Shirashi. I'm going to steal that. 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 I'm going to
俺たちは安全なんだから何もしゃべるんじゃないぞ。教授さんの言う通りだ。たまになんで好き好んで自首なんかしたんだ。日本にいたら自由だったはずだろう。もうこうなったら逃げられない。分かってんだろ。獣みたいに逃げてもしょうがない。それじゃいつまでたっても本当の自由になれないだろう。敗北者のままでいたくないから。大丈夫だって。登ろう。Please. I remember. No, no. This is why. It's no rush to me. This way. I don't know where he is. Keep going. Come on, get the lid out of your hands, Tojo. This is it. Geneva Convention say, officers not do manual work. Cooper's Convention say, Ikiuchi dig, or shovel come into contact with head now dig. Come on, heads down, thumbs up. Captain Cooper. Phantoms, Frank. One to four. Where the evidence you're about to give this tribunal will be the whole truth and nothing but the truth? I swear.
Private, how long were you a prisoner of war? How long? <coughs> Sister, are you sure <coughs> Private Fenton is capable of testifying? Over three years. Were you ever beaten during that time? Answer the question, Private. I was beaten. Who carried out the beatings? Ikiuchi. The one, the one we call the Black Bastard. A horse face. They, bro they broke out of my ribs. They split my skull. Almost bloody crippled me. Into every bit of pasture going, those blokes. Who gave the orders for these beatings? That bastard. Ikiuchi. One bashing. It was thirty of us. An Ikiuchi. That bloody whistle. It, he blew it to stop the beatings. And he blew it to start the beatings all over again. We lost three good blokes that day. The rest of us... No one had the right to do that to us. We were soldiers. A bit, a bit later on, when the guards weren't looking, I, I was pulled away by, by some of my mates. I, I crawled as fast as I could to a hut and got underneath it. Just sort of sat there for a while. Hours went by. I, I don't know how many still the beatings Private. went on. Private. What else did you see? What else? The truck. Yes, a truck was coming. Tell. You're assured this tribunal, this man was fit to testify. That is my professional opinion, sir. It is my advice to this tribunal. He is not. I am! I'm, I'm fit to testify. Were these the men with your brother? It's a mess. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like them. Where were your brother and the three men held? Isolation block. Away, away from the rest of us. Most of the guards were out of the camp on work parties. So I got under the wire. See you, Kyuchi. Bomb it! Our mission was bombing! Our 
Submit records of flight details showing that Flight Lieutenant Edward Fenton was on a reconnaissance mission. This plane was not armed with bombs. Flights Lieutenant Smith, Flight Sergeant O'Donnell, and Corporal Rogers were also on board. Eddie? Eddie? Eddie, the boss is gone! Eddie! Eddie! Eddie, it's me. It's Jimmy. Eddie, it's Jimmy. about at night. Give him a smoke. Try, try and keep your spirits up. When was the last time you saw Eddie? It was. I think, I think morning. Yeah, I remember it was morning. Jap guards, truck. I took off under the wire, followed the truck till it turned off near the old ruin. <coughs> I was running. I got, I got as close as I could. I, I could see Eddie. And the other three. And a, a couple of guards. And the huge Japs in the car. M muffled voices. T too far away. I was, al I was almost down by a Jap patrol. I heard Eddie scream as I hid in the bushes. Murdered him. Killed my brother. Mongrel bastards. God is your damn You fucking murdering savages! I'm a stalker that she! I'm a stalker that she don't! Animals! Animals! Eddie! Animals!
be it. Yeah, thanks. Jimmy Fenton just died. Experts. You better get that scene too. get something out of that? The name of one of the executioners. Oh. Happy with the way you got it? You're not much better than them. Captain Wadami Ikiuchi and Lieutenant Hideo Tanaka. You were charged under Section 3 of the Australian War Crimes Act with carrying out the unlawful execution of RAAF officers and crew, Rogers, Fenton, O'Donnell, and Smith. How do you plead? Not guilty. Not guilty. I submit the record of evidence given by the late Private James Fenton, together with photographs of the decapitated bodies of the four officers, along with their identification tags. Captain, who gave the order for the execution of these officers? I know nothing of any executions. Private James Fenton swore under oath. He saw you interrogate Flight Lieutenant Edward Fenton. He was lying. He further stated that he followed a truck carrying the officers and a car in which you were a passenger to a place in the jungle, to a spot where only a few days ago you dug up the decapitated bodies of these officers. Bushido tradition demands that enemy officers of this rank be executed by Japanese officers of equal rank. Who were they? Lieutenant Tanaka, do you recognize these men?
Yes. When did you first see them? The morning they were brought to the court martial building by Captain Ikeuch. Captain Ikeuch. Who was in charge of courts martial on Ambon? Baron Takahashi presided over them with two other officers, Captain Ikeuchi and Lieutenant Shimada, the legal officer. Baron Takahashi. Were you a witness at this court martial? No. What made you believe a court martial actually took place? I was told I had been honored by Baron Takahashi, president of the court martial, to carry out the execution of Australian prisoners. Honor. Why would they honor a signals officer? Tradition requires an officer to be executed by an officer of equal rank. What crime did these officers commit to warrant an execution? They had bombed innocent civilians. How could they have bombed innocent civilians when the records clearly show they're on a reconnaissance flight? According to Japanese court martial, they bombed civilians. According to a court martial that possibly never took place. Objection! You are a liar, Lieutenant! No! Baron Takashi was in charge. Nothing could be done without his express orders. Nothing. I protested against his orders for the mass beating of the prisoners. I made repeated requests to Takahashi. Do something. Prisoners were dying all around us. He did nothing. There was a warehouse full of food. Takash let them die of starvation. They were human beings. There was a court martial. Look at the record. They'll prove it. <laughs> the records. There are no records. Takash burned them. Just like he's barring you, you poor fool! Sergeant, remove the prisoner! What do you want? Tendo Hika, Tamilis Shinga! Tendo Hika! Batai! I feel great shame for what happened in court today. I defended Vice Admiral Takahashi to the letter of the law. Now I find myself in a most difficult position. Did you really believe that Baron Takahashi was innocent? You must appreciate my task was to defend him. It's Tanaka who is my concern now. There would be a great injustice if the innocent were to be branded with the shame of the guilty. Well, I'm not so sure Tanaka is innocent. But he was just following orders. So is the man he executed, Mr. Matsugai. Captain! Come kind of quick, sir.
bastard. I had a special bullet for him. Something to cover him with. Get them out of here. Come on. Clear out. Come on. How can I do that for themselves? I don't understand these bloody chaps. What's Beckett coming back for? Why can't he just put Shimada on a plane? So you requested Shimada. You're the reason he's being brought here. I don't know why Beckett's coming. He's coming because he knows we found the bodies of those flyers. So what's he going to say? There was a court martial. Takahashi made a mistake. I don't know what he's going to say. Oh, come on, Frank. Whose side are you on? What's going on in your guts? We are only here because those prisoners were Australians. I intend to make Lieutenant Shimada available for Mr. Matsugai to question. Right. Lieutenant Shimada will verify there was a legal court martial held. I should tell you, Cooper doesn't appreciate the prospect of you turning up as well. I don't give well. a damn what your Captain Cooper appreciates, Frank. Where in the hell did you find this guy, anyway? Who's in charge here? He's due back in Tokyo the day after tomorrow, Frank. He got us for 24 hours, that's it. Lieutenant, you came to Ambon specifically to testify that these men were court-martialed. But there is not the slightest suggestion of evidence to support that, is there? That's not true. I acted upon the order of the court-martial. Resume your seat, Lieutenant. So Vice Admiral Takahashi convened the court-martial, and you and Captain Ikeuchi were both there. Yes. And Tokyo was notified of this court-martial by radio transmissions, of course. Oh, uh, yes. Although all records of these radio transmissions were bombed here on Ambon. So, I understand. And all the records in Tokyo of these radio transmissions appear to have been lost. Yes. Yes. I would like to call Major Becker to the stand. For what purpose, Captain? To draw upon his expertise in the area of records, sir. Very good. Swear Major Beckett in. If nothing else emerges from this tribunal. It will at least be clear that Allied attempts to bomb Japanese records were almost wholly successful. Do you swear the evidence you're about to give this tribunal will be the whole truth and nothing but the truth? I swear. Captain Cooper? Major. Is it true that during the war you were a security officer with U.S. Secret Intelligence? Yes, it is. Although I don't see what that has to do with these proceedings. Is it also true that since the surrender, Japanese codes have come into the hands of the Allies? And that any signal received during the war could now be decoded? The decoding of Japanese signals would take a considerable amount of time. Also, it's highly unlikely that every signal between Ambon and Tokyo would have been intercepted by Washington. Yes, but wouldn't any Japanese signal sent from Ambon have been intercepted by your Australian allies? Wouldn't they have been intercepted by Darwin? There's no guarantee, Captain, as you should know, that every Japanese signal was intercepted by anyone. Yeah, but if they were, it is now possible for them to be decoded and presented as evidence in this court, isn't it? 
That's classified information, Captain. I wouldn't be able to comment about that. So how would we go about getting such information? It would be very difficult, sir. Perhaps I could be... Sir, so these records were subpoenaed last night. I've just received a message to say the information is available. I object. Sir, this information is classified for reasons of... It's not security. your place to object, Major Beckett. Please sit down. I object to you and I disinformation. I request an adjournment, sir, to enable the status of any document so obtained to be properly considered. I adjourn this tribunal for one hour while this business is sorted out. Major Roberts, I wonder if I could see you for a moment. Bad news, I'm afraid, gentlemen. The information is classified. They won't release it. Major. I'm sorry, Bob. I wish that had come off for you. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Sir. Yes? Come in. Oh. That's good. Good night. Yeah. Tell the gentleman what you told me now. American records will show no signal about the court martial because no signal was sent. Why not? I don't know. But I remember no signal was sent. Too much bombing. What you're saying is that the court martial was held, but no signal was sent to Tokyo. Yes. I would like to call Lieutenant Kimura as the witness major in the defense of Lieutenant Tanaka. You say there was a court martial, but that no signal was sent. How do you know a signal wasn't sent about this particular court martial? We were under attack. Very difficult to send signals at that time. Yes, but how do you know so much about this court martial? Were you there? Yes. Vice Admiral Takash ordered me to inform Lieutenant Tanaka he was to execute one of the flyers. No further questions. Captain Cooper. Lieutenant Kimura. What was the date of the court martial of the four flyers? September 10th, 1944. September 10, 1944. And no signal was sent because the island was under heavy air attack. Yes. Very heavy air attack. Was this heavy air attack on the day of the court martial or the day after the court martial or the day after that? I'm not sure. Lieutenant, there was no heavy air attack in the entire month of September in 1944. That's not the reason no signal was sent, is it? Objection, Your Honor. Sustained. Lieutenant, will you tell us? exactly how you informed Lieutenant Tanaka that he was to execute Flight Lieutenant Edward Fenton. I told him there had been a court martial. Vice Admiral Takash had given him the honor of executing Flight Lieutenant Fenton. So you told him there was a court martial, just like you told me a few seconds ago no signal had been sent. There was no court-martial, was there? That's why no signal was sent, isn't it? Objection. There never Get was... Witness. There never was a court-martial, was Captain Cooper. Was there? Your Honour. Captain Cooper. Why didn't you tell him there was no court-martial? Stop this line of questioning, Captain Cooper. Please sit down. No, sir, not until the witness answers sit the down. question. Why did you not tell him there was no court-martial? I was scared. I would be punished. I would be court-martialed. 
if I didn't not obey an order. I see. You were scared. I know Lieutenant Tanaka. He might not have carried out this order if he had known there was no trial. Did Lieutenant Tanaka ask to see a written order for this court martial? No. No. What really happened that day? I was at Takashi's house at nine o'clock in the morning when he gave the order to Captain Ikeuchi. The prisoners were taken to the place of execution and it was finished at 10.30. I had to report to Takashi when the execution was done. Lieutenant Kimura, were you stationed on Ambon in February 1942? Yes. Did Vice Admiral Takahashi give the order for the execution of the 315 Australian prisoners near Laha Airstrip? He was responsible. Yes. Do you believe Captain Keuchi acted on his own? He decided to execute the pilots, and he chose you to carry it out? No. Do you realize where this places you in the absence of any court martial proceedings? I can only say I was carrying out what I believed to be a lawful order from my superiors. For the lives of four men, surely it warranted something in writing. We were at war. We had to obey orders, but you are a signals officer. Didn't you notice that no signals were sent about this court martial? You said before you'd question Takahashi's orders. What could I have done? There are many questions that can never be resolved. Not in this court. Fraternizing, are we private? Sergeant. Then we got better things to be doing than chin wagging with these monkeys. I don't wish to cause any trouble. You keep out of it. You jack lovers. Turn my stomach. Forgive and forget. Beautiful night. Not bad at all. There's always that little breeze that comes off the sea in the evenings here. Yeah. Listen, I think there's something you ought to realize. Baron Takahashi's been given a very sensitive appointment in the pacification program in Tokyo. It'd be a damn shame if there was any more trouble about what happened here. What, like the killing of a few hundred Australians? There is a bigger game, Cooper. A grander scale. You think I don't understand how you feel? You think none of this shit ever happened to our boy? I'm not saying the son of a bitch is innocent. I'm simply asking you to see that there are more important things than what happened on Ambon. 
The future of the whole world is being worked out right now. I haven't got much use for barons at the best of times, Major. But let me tell you, the future of the world isn't worked out on a grand scale. It's worked out by ordinary people doing their ordinary bloody jobs. You really don't understand, do you? We have to use people like Takahashi to serve our interests. Takahashi's not serving our interests. You're serving his. And you're not working out the future of the world, Major. You're just preventing it from being different to the past. Thank you, Mr. Matsugai. Captain Cooper. International law doesn't recognize obedience to a superior officer as a defense. The defendant personally conducted the brutal execution of Flight Lieutenant Edward Fenton. That he did it is not contested. The question for this tribunal is this. Did he know he was committing a crime or was he ignorant of the fact? The defendant was lied to by his superior officers. The most senior of those officers has since been acquitted by this tribunal of any wrongdoing. Evidence has since become available that Vice Admiral Takahashi lied to this tribunal, ordered the summary execution of pilots and destroyed all records. This evidence must be put to better use than to simply convict his junior officers. Officers of insufficient rank, presumably, to play any part in post-war regional politics. Lieutenant Tanaka previously questioned the orders from his superiors. This time he did not. His instruction to execute a defenceless prisoner was represented to him as a great honor in the Japanese tradition. It has become increasingly obvious, sir, that the overriding fact in these proceedings is not the difference between the Japanese culture and our own, or two sides in an international war. It is the way in which power and privilege make victims of those who have neither. What choice did Lieutenant Tanaka have? What could he have done? Tanakachi. We all recognize that the world must go on. But if a swift political solution to the Pacific and the Far East can only be won at the expense of justice, then our grief 
and our anger at the barbaric treatment of our prisoners of war will not be washed away in this century. If this officer is found guilty, I recommend that mercy be shown to him. Came to say goodbye. Off home? Tomorrow. Well, thanks for your help. I'm sorry about what happened with Jimmy. What do you think will happen tomorrow? I don't know. Well, good luck. Maybe we'll see each other again in Sydney one day. Maybe. You take care of yourself. You too. The Tribunal has given lengthy consideration to the case of Lieutenant Tanaka, particularly in respect of possible mitigating factors surrounding the question of whether or not he knew, in his mind, he was committing this unjustifiable crime. There can be no doubt that the defendant conducted the execution of Flight Lieutenant Fenton. It should have been the responsibility of the defendant to confirm that a legal court-martial had been convened and that a legal order had been given pursuant to its decision. Clearly, he did not so inquire. Accordingly, this tribunal has no alternative but to find the accused guilty as charged. This is a capital offence. The sentence is death. Lieutenant Tanaka, an English-speaking Christian Japanese, ironically, an English-speaking Christian Japanese, comma, who gave himself up, comma, was today sentenced to death, comma, sentenced to be carried out immediately. Full stop. Take out ironically. Could you please see that my wife, Midori, 
receives this letter. Sure. I do not want a blindfold. I'm not frightened of death. Sorry. It's regulations. Firing party! Hot! Arms!
Thank you.